Hey everyone, good morning. <clears throat> let me let me clear my throat. We were singing that at the wedding <laughs> on Saturday. I am still sick and a little raspy. So uh, if I start coughing, you know why the whole house is sick. I think the whole damn wedding party is sick. Hold on, let me make sure this is working and going to the right places because my Wi-Fi is being a little funky, because I love being outside, especially this time of year. Okay, we're good. All right, good morning, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm so excited to be here. Already got a like. Hello, everyone. All right, let's dive right in. Today, I'm going to be breaking down content marketing strategy for 2023. I've been studying some of the best on YouTube as I try and figure out my own content marketing strategy moving into 2023. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of hacks so you can save time and so you can save money. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if that's something you're interested, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Also make sure to share it out because I know marketing is an area where people get very tripped up, they get overwhelmed, they get exhausted, they get burned out. And I've been getting a lot of questions about that, especially recently, because they're like, Amanda, you're like pumping out a lot of content recently. How are you doing this? And I've been kind of perpetually experimenting over the last couple of years, trying to figure out how in the hell I can actually create my ideal content marketing strategy for my business. So I've experimented with a bunch of different things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down some of the things that I have found. Good morning, Shia. Shia, I know you saw my video email. Let's go. Let's talk, girl. I know you saw it. <laughs> Thank you for being here. So today we're going to be breaking down content marketing strategy. Shia, you're really going to like this because uh, we met at 10X Growth Con and I've been breaking down what Grant does. So that's part of what I'm going to be talking about today um, and the hacks so that it just doesn't take up so much freaking time. And then just answering a lot of questions that I've been getting in the DMs, on phone calls, on emails, things like that. I'm going to be doing that in this live stream today. Once again, apologies for my throat. We all got sick at this wedding. We had a really good time. <laughs> so if I start coughing, um, excuse me. All right. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Amanda Abeya. Um, I am basically the top female sales trainer online before I was teaching people how to sell. I was actually a, a content marketer for eight years in the financial space. So I actually started as a blogger uh, way back in the day, 2010, before any of this had really turned into what it is um, and spent a whole eight years basically writing blogs for banks. That's what I did. And I built a whole brand as a financial expert. And I did that via social media. And then I started transitioning into something more scalable, which was digital courses and training programs, because people kept asking me, Amanda, how the hell did you build the first business? So in the second business, I just started teaching people what I had done in the first business. And a big part of that for a long time, and still is, you could go check out all our classes in the description, was how to put offers together, how to do marketing, and especially how to do sales. And one of the things I'm totally obsessed with is how do we become way more efficient? Um, I'm, it, it's an obsession of mine. How do we become more efficient so we can get more input and more output without driving ourselves into the ground and without driving ourselves insane and without spending F tons of money that we may not have? Ooh, there's the frog in the throat in our budgets. So I'm utterly obsessed with this, especially in 2022, as I was reworking my business into something that felt good to me. Um, I was like, OK, well, this is the, the reality, right? The reality is that if you want to make a lot of money, you got to get known by a lot of people. The reality is that if you explode your marketing on the front end, it makes your sales easier on the back end. Now, is marketing going to guarantee sales? No, that's a whole other skill set, but it does guarantee leads. And it does guarantee eyeballs and it does guarantee attention. So that's what we're really going to be focusing on today. And before getting into that, those of you who are interested, uh, the applications are still open for our Empress VIP weekends. I've had some people ask me if I could look at their sales systems and automations and efficiency. If I have a program for that, 
the VIP weekend would be perfect for you because sales automations and efficiency is one of those things that you need to work. You need to work with someone privately on that because it's so customized to the person and the business and different things work for different people. So those of you who've been asking me about sales systems and efficiency and automations, check out the Empress VIP weekend. I'm only doing five of them in 2023. Uh, we have over 80 people who've expressed interest that we've been in communication with and reaching out to. And in those VIP weekends, you'll work with me privately for two days. So those of you who've been asking about the sales systems, those of you who've been asking about the automations, those of you who've been asking about scaling, that's going to be the best way to get my eyeballs on those things in your business. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about content marketing strategy for 2023. So obviously, video is it video is hot video is where it's at if you look at what um youtube facebook instagram and TikTok have all done everybody's gone in on the video bandwagon especially since 2020 because in 2020 video really exploded because of course we were all stuck at home and had nothing else to do but it hasn't gone anywhere and in fact what has occurred is that they've all gone in alignment with the short form videos. The other thing that's making a comeback in terms of content marketing for 2023 is search engine optimization and SEO. So basically what that means is searchable content that people can find on the internet. So one of the things I've been told a lot recently, and it's one of the reasons I'm gonna double and triple down on video, is a lot of people have said, you know, we've gotten emails from people saying that they found us because they made a search on Google and one of my YouTube videos popped out or one of my LinkedIn videos popped out. So two things, video is hot and people really wanna know video and then also searchable content. So those are the two things that people are really gonna be focusing on going into 2023. Hi everybody, I see y'all coming in, right? And then in addition to that, this is just a numbers game, right? The more you get out there, the more people know you and the more they want to give you money and the more they know about your offers. So what I have done, and it doesn't matter how many times you try and get around that. People try and get around it all the time. I've tested it. So I can tell you um, just in the last 28 days, we've gotten 20,000 more views on our YouTube channel. And all I've done is create more content. It wasn't even that strategic. It wasn't even that keyword heavy. It wasn't even that intense. All I did was pump out more content. That's all I did. And we've seen an increase of over 20,000 views and counting just in the last month. Same thing with Instagram, right? The more reels I post, the more eyeballs I get, the more the account grows, the more conversations I have in my DMs and the more sales I can make. It's really not rocket science. It's a giant numbers game. The problem becomes how do we do this in a way where we don't exhaust ourselves and how do we do it in a way where we don't have massive teams or massive budgets and i'll start getting into that momentarily so let me start off by saying that i've been studying um some of the people on youtube like the hormoses and also grant cardone and neither of them have made a secret of this that really just the secret to their success is their volume right it's video and it's volume so if you're only posting once a day, there's people like the Hormozies, and I counted it yesterday. Oh, I have the numbers. I was watching Alex Hormozy yesterday. He had two reels, two TikToks, um, two YouTube shorts, two YouTube videos a week. Yeah, at the same time. Alex Hormozy has said himself that he pumps about 80 pieces of content out a week which would be about 11 pieces of marketing out a day, which is a lot. And if you don't have a team and if you don't have tens of thousands of dollars to spend on people, and I don't recommend doing that depending on what stage of business you're in, I tried it, not that great. Um, then you are like, whoa, how the hell am I going to do this? How on earth am I going to be able to pull this off? So I have some suggestions um, because my question became, Okay, well, how can I replicate the Hermoses and the Grant Cardones to the best of my ability as a small business owner and as a small team? Because it's true, right? Like if people don't know who you are, they can't give you money. The more visible you become, the more they trust you. It's that simple. It's, it's not that complicated. It's, it's not that, that intense. 
So how can I replicate it without A, wasting a bunch of time or overworking, both of which I've done, trying to figure out a strategy that works for me, and B, burning a hole in my wallet and burning a hole in my budget like I did earlier this year. Because not all of us have budgets to be burning holes into. And I already tested the five figures a month video support. Not really worth it. It depends what stage of business you're in. Obviously, if you're a homeowner or a Grant Cardone and you have the money for it, sure. But a lot of us don't. So the, the goal is how do we create these hacks so that we become way more time efficient uh, in what it is that we're trying to create. And I think I've got it right. I think finally technology is helping us out with this one. And I'm super excited. So hack number one. Well, first of all, you have to come up with your actual strategy and your actual plan. Right. So how much content if, if Hormozy's popping out 80 pieces of content a week. And I think he grew his following by over a million people in like six months doing that. Then what is the closest that I can get to that without losing my mind? right? So that would be an example. Total transparency. This is one of the reasons why I automated the hell out of everything in my business. This is why I spent so much time on systems and processes because I know that's backing me up so I can explode the front end. <clears throat> Hold on. Woo. However, I was pumping out a lot of content even in the first business and I was pumping out a lot of content even before I had systems and automations. Back then, what I was doing is I was dedicating an entire day to just content marketing. So back then, I would spend like Monday through Thursday doing stuff for clients and growing my business. And then on Fridays, I would spend it on content. That's that's what I would do. That's what I did in my first business. Um, I think I was pumping out three blog posts a week back then. I was tweeting all the time because Twitter was really hot. Um, Instagram, I hadn't quite figured out yet, nor YouTube. Those were like my main things was blogging. Uh, podcasting and Twitter. So even before I had automations, I was still pumping out a lot of content because I was just always very organized. Uh, the other thing is I don't have a massive team. In fact, I have significantly downsized in 2022, like many people have, and come creating these hacks has actually allowed me to do that. So not only am I getting to a space where I can be more visible and pop out more stuff, but I've also been able to significantly reduce my expenses with the stuff that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. So let's start getting into these hacks, right? So hack number one is to brain dump on Twitter instead of on YouTube. I learned this from Hormozy and I was like, this is actually kind of brilliant when he was talking about this. So normally what we'll do, right, is we're going about our day, we hear something from a client, we hear something on social media or like a, a inspiration hits us. And then what we'll do is we'll like bust out a notebook or we'll bust out our phone and put it in the notes app or maybe use something like Notion and, and you put it in there and you do a little brain dump. Instead of doing that, right, why don't you just do it on Twitter? So if you got a flash of insight or if you got a flash of an idea or if you got um, like a quote that came to you or something that you, like I do this on Facebook all the time, right? where I'll just have like this idea and then I post it on my personal Facebook and it gets a ton of traction. And then I'm like, wait a minute, why am I not posting this on Twitter too, <laughs> right? Why am I not doing that? Why am I keeping it private in a notebook or a Google Drive folder, which I'm probably gonna forget even exists and then the content doesn't even get used. So that's number one is when you start getting those flashes of insights, instead of putting it in a notebook or a Google Drive document you're gonna lose anyway, just post it on Facebook or Twitter. And then the other thing or both and then the other thing that you can do when you do that is you start testing what kind of content works in the marketplace so for example i've gotten a lot of traction on my post calling out the bs in the coaching industry calling out the red flags in the coaching industry my dms and comments were flooded last week with people thanking me do that how did i know that content was going to work because i've been posting my insights as they hit me about those things on my personal Facebook. And then I was like, well, I wonder if it'll just work everywhere else. And it did. So not only can you create content very quickly for certain platforms, but then you can test what it is that people are responding to. And that's basically market research at the same time. So that tip I got from Hormozy and I thought it was freaking brilliant because it's true. Like we'll put it in a notebook and forget the notebook even exists and then we'll never
All right. It's, it looks like I'm back. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it says I'm back, so I'm just going to keep going. Whoop. I'm back. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. My apologies. So you think Twitter is still a good plan, even with all the crazy? That I don't give a shit what kind of crazy is going on on Twitter. Can I use it for marketing? <laughs> like, that's all I care about. I don't care what kind of crazy stuff is going on. I care about my business and whether or not I can use it as a tool. That's it. That's all I care about. I don't give a shit what Elon decides to do over there. My objective is, can I get eyeballs on my business? That's it, right? Elon can go do whatever he wants. I don't, I don't have a dog in the fight, right? My concern is, how do I get eyeballs on my business? That's all I care about. <laughs> um, I really don't care about anything else. Um, so he can do whatever he wants. I have no control over that. What I do have control over is who, who sees my business, who sees my profile, how do I drive traffic to the thing I can control? That's what I care about. Um, okay, so that's so brain dump it, right? That seems to work really well. Um, and then from there, and this is my favorite hack as of late, and I actually did this when I was beginning as a blogger back in the day. And I just, I guess I just forgot or I didn't realize I could do it in a new medium, which is what I'm going to explain right now, which is document everything. Gary Vee has been talking about this forever, but Gary Vee also has a whole team following him around with a camera. I don't, and you probably don't either. Um, but basically what you want to do is you want to document everything. So this reminds me of when I launched my book, Make Money Your Honey. We're coming up on 10 years in January, which is wild. Uh, but basically I self-published a book 10 years ago. It was an Amazon bestseller. And I remember one of the things that I did is I was just documenting the entire process of putting the book together publicly on social media. Even when I got like the cover and the cover was like crooked, I didn't care. I still posted a picture and be like, I got the first draft of the cover. Yeah, I know this is crooked. We're going to fix it. But I wanted to share the process and I was documenting it. So what happened when I launched the book, a bunch of people had been watching me put this together and they all bought it. And it was an Amazon bestseller. Right. So document the process. So. Here's what I'm doing lately. I'm actually doing it right now as we speak. Anytime I'm doing anything, my my video camera is rolling over here. Like my camera on my phone, it's actually, I'm looking at it right now, is rolling. So I'm on a live stream right now teaching you guys and I'm recording myself teaching you guys. From a 30 minute clip that I can get from this, I'm gonna pull out so many freaking shorts. It's unbelievable how much short form content I can pull out just from that. Um, and I thought about this yesterday because I was teaching our platinum clients um, how to do their end of year planning. And I recorded myself on my phone doing it because uh, I was like, let me document this just in case. Because if I'm already going to be doing this, right, I might as well document myself doing it and repurpose the content into shorts. Or I could turn it into a transcription and turn that into a blog post. The point is, I am now literally documenting everything. It's on my phone. And then I can use certain apps like uh, I can't just show that my phone's being used right now, but it's like certain apps like Splice uh, or Descript or things like that to kind of cut it up and turn it into short form content that then I can use on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Yesterday, I posted three short, three short form pieces of content on all the social platforms on every page that I have. Uh, you're welcome. It just says Facebook user. So I posted three... Um, pieces of short form content on every platform that I have. And I still did a call with clients. I still had a training with my team and I still hit my target of hundred outreach a day for sales. It really wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard because all I do is document everything I do and then I repurpose it. And I was like, well, damn, right? Like this is way more effective and way less expensive than I was doing earlier this year where I was paying somebody else to do that. And it was costing me un cojón y medio, which is a ball and a half in Spanish, right? And it wasn't worth it. So so I was like, this is way more efficient and gets a lot more done. So just document everything that you do. I'm literally recording myself doing this right now and it'll turn into a bunch of pieces of short form content uh, for the interwebs. And it's valuable content, right? It's not just like random stuff, it's super valuable because I don't have time to be doing all the trends on TikTok and Reels. I'll do them every, yeah, I post the same content on every channel. And then it's interesting because you see what performs on each channel. So that's part of why I'm doing that um, right now. What I will do is um, 
it depends on how much time I have. I've been testing this, right? So I've actually taken it straight. what happens because i love to be outside uh yeah i don't care i don't have the kind of time to be doing all this different stuff on different platforms um and i didn't see a difference between like hey th this thing has a watermark from instagram on youtube it didn't seem to make a difference at all right so that's just been my uh observation on that experimenting with it i did notice on facebook that if it was native it did get more views so if I can um, do that where I don't need any music or anything, it's just me talking or providing valuable content, then I'll do it native. Um, okay. And then finally, repurpose, 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 and repurpose some more. So this live stream will get repurposed. I could probably cut it up into its own YouTube video. I most likely will do that at some point. And then... Uh, like I said, I'm recording myself doing this on my phone, so that'll get repurposed into a bunch of YouTube shorts. And what you want to do, and, and this used to be a lot harder than it was, right? Because I've always wanted to explode on video. I've always wanted to be visible every day. My goal is how do I become a part of someone's ritual so they just trust me and work with us and share it with their friends and all that kind of stuff. Because if I think about my best mentors, that's what I did. I just, I, I mean, I religiously watched them every day on YouTube until I was ready to give them my money, essentially. And they all say the same thing. Just pump out content so people know who you are, period. And then combine that with sales. Um, hey, Brittany, just pump out content, right? And then combine that with sales. Now, of course, all the guys saying this have massive teams, which is why we're having this conversation, because we don't have the teams or the budgets on this conversation right now. The cool thing that's happening right now, thank you, Age of Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Age of Aquarius, is we have AI now. We have AI. And I did a, a poll on Twitter yesterday. Actually, let me see if I can log in and pull it up. I did a poll on Twitter and I did a poll on uh, my Instagram stories about how people felt about AI, just out of curiosity. So I was like, how do you feel about um oh hey twitter i see y'all liking it i see you guys hello hello so um i did a poll yesterday how do you feel about artificial intelligence for marketing i.e writing copy video editing etc 66.7 percent said it was hell yes game changer 33.3 percent said nope not for me i also asked on uh instagram right and i was like hey i'm just really curious because people seem to be very like one or the other Hold on, garbage truck or some sort of a truck. It was an FPL truck. God, I hope the power doesn't go out at some point around here. Um, it looks like they're doing some work around here. So glad I did this early in case my power goes out. So, um, so I also asked on Instagram. And Instagram, it was like 100% I am here for the AI for marketing. Now, some people don't feel comfortable about it for whatever reason. Me? I've been in this space 13 years. Thank you, Jesus, for the AI, because it's saving me so much time and so much money. So the tool that I'm using right now is called um, Descript. And actually, maybe I can show it to you guys. I showed it to my uh, mastermind clients yesterday, but basically Descript used to be for audio only. It was just for podcasting. And then what's cool about it, and this is what I'm using to do a lot of things very quickly, and I'm using the free version right now. I'm not even using the paid version. And if I tell you the amount of money I was paying for video support, podcast support, posting things, I mean, it was multiple five figures a month. It was insane. It burned a hole in my fucking wallet. And I never, and I don't want to do that again until it makes sense to do that. But I experimented, and now I'm obsessed with how do I replicate those results uh, without spending that much money and without spending a whole lot of time on these things. So now there's AI and there's a cool tool called um, Descript and apparently there's a bunch of others. But Descript was used for um, uh, only podcasting. And basically you would upload the audio file, it would automatically do a transcription. And then rather if anybody's ever edited anything on iMovie or GarageBand, you know how tedious that stuff is. It is 
horrifying. Like, I just, I hate it. I hate editing. Because it's like, oh, you got to listen, and then you got to split clip, and then you got to add this thing in. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have time. So with the script, what it does is it does it based on the transcript. So let's say I repeat a story twice. Um, and what I can do is I can go to the transcript on the script, I, and I can delete uh, the second second time I repeat the story and then it automatically edits the video. It automatically cuts it out of the video. It's so much faster because it's going based on the transcript. You can also add in B-roll, you can add in stickers, and you could do it so freaking fast. So I was playing around with it on Sunday. I was messing with all the features, so it took me an hour to edit one 10 minute long video. Uh, so many steps doing it alone, so many. That's why a lot of people don't do this or it's just too expensive right to to take to outsource it you know if you're a smaller business and you don't have that kind of budget it's just too expensive so um for like not the best results so what so anyway with this script right you can just edit the text you can just delete it and then in order to make the short form videos like out of one 10 minute long video i got five short form videos out of it all i do is highlight the text duplicate it resize it add captions and i'm done you know, like once I really get the hang of it, I'll probably, you know, each short form will probably take less than a minute to get done. Right. Or um, so that's so you can use AI or all in one systems that now exist. And I'm telling you, I'm using the free version. I haven't even gotten into the paid version yet. And in about in one afternoon, I was able to record four long form videos for YouTube, um, 10 minutes each. No big deal. In terms of scripting and all that stuff, I've been on video for so long, for so many years, that I could just kind of go off the cuff. I don't need anything major. That only comes with practice. I talked about that yesterday. But for uh, long-form videos, my goal is two um, a week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So right now, I'm gonna, with everything else I have going on, so I'm just going to stick to one for now. But the goal would be two because I'm following what the Hormozy is doing. I'm breaking it down. Um, so that's the goal. But right now it's uh, four short form videos were recorded on my camera. And then I was a, from one of those short form videos on the script, I was able to get the video edited complete with B roll stickers, all kinds of stuff, a transcription that is now on my website. All I had to do was plug in some SEO into it, audio for the podcast and five short form videos that I can use for Instagram, YouTube shorts, uh, and TikTok. That's it. It only took me a couple of hours and it only took me a couple of hours because I was playing with all the features because I didn't yet know where everything was. Right. So I suspect one video will take me and then all the short form for it will take me less than an hour moving forward because everything's being done in the same place. And most of the work is being done for you with AI. So like I am so thrilled about this as someone who's been in content marketing since 2010 and someone who had a whole business as a content marketer totally game changing totally game changing um and i think they just added in video descriptive it used to only be podcasting and now they have video totally game changing i actually did a tutorial and showed it uh to our platinum clients yesterday because they they get the nitty-gritty details and the behind the scenes because we were doing the end of year review and marketing came up so then i showed them how it actually like works and stuff on the actual application. If you're interested in Platinum, the information's on the screen. It's the it's gonna be the only way to get lifetime access to every class I ever create. You get an Empress VIP weekend included, which is working privately with me. And then in addition to that, you'll get weekly calls for a year. Two of those calls are sales role play. So you can slay it in your sales conversations. So the information for that's in the description if you're interested. But basically, right, with the AI, I'm able to do so much freaking output and that's why I was able to do three short form videos and it took almost no time for me to do that yesterday. And then what I'm doing as an experimentation is just sprinkling in some trends, right? So like I did a trendy one uh, this morning. I did a, a trending audio this morning because it was quick. I already knew what it is that I had to do. It wasn't a big deal. But the other things that I'm going to do today is just content that I'm already um, repurposing. So anyway, that's the strategy for 2023. Um, I am blowing up this front end and I've been wanting to do this for so long. Y'all have no idea. I've been itching to blow up the front end of my business. That's why I spent three years working on behind the scenes systems and automations and structure and process and 
making sure like all the offers were straight going into 2023. That's why I went through all of that because I knew when all of that was said and done, oh, I was coming. I was coming. I am blowing up this front end. And now that I found super efficient ways of doing it that don't cost an arm and a leg, oh, get ready, y'all. Get ready. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you did. Like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I just wanted to share some marketing insights from, you know, hacking people like the Cardones and the Hormoses who are absolutely killing it. And I've tried everything and they're right. It really just is a volume game. That's all it is. So, you know, the more you pump out, the more and more value you put out in the marketplace, the more you're going to get in return. Now, if you're interested in doing more of our training programs, this is for offers, marketing and sales. You can find all that information in the description. If you want to work with me on a more one on one basis then the Empress VIP weekend is it because then I can actually take my super efficient like brain that's obsessed with these things and look at your business. Personally, we only have five of those spots available for 2023. Uh, it is working privately with me in a beautiful property in Miami. Um, you know, if you've been on, on, um, you can actually go to that page and see the property tour. I only have five of those spots available for 2023. Over 80 people have already expressed interest. So run the applications are open through the 22nd. If you have any questions about any of our other trainings or programs, then just DM me or email me or let me know. But glad you guys found this helpful and I will see y'all later. Bye, everybody.